Hi, it's Martin and Arlo. We're in the studio today and we're making Icelandic rye bread. Okay, so let's do this mix. Come on. So, we're making Icelandic rye bread today. So let me tell you a quick story. Earlier this year, before the world went crazy and um, we couldn't travel anymore, um, Anthem and I and her sister uh, went to France and on the way we stopped in Iceland for about 24 hours. Now, before I go any place new, I always check to see like, what are the great bakeries? What is the traditional food of the country, blah, blah, blah. And what I read about, or what I saw, was a review of this place in Reykjavik called Café Loki, and where they serve traditional Icelandic rye bread. Traditional Icelandic rye bread is made in these big pots, and they actually steam it underground because the whole island is covered in ge geothermal activity. So they go down to where the activity is, they dig a hole, they put this bucket with the bread dough in it, and then they bake it for like 12 hours. And so we went to Café Loki, and what they had was this plate, and the plate was three different, uh, three slices of this bread with three different toppings on it. And so the bread is very dark, and it's made with a little bit of golden syrup, and so it's slightly sweet. But then on top of that, they had pickled fish, or they had um, hard boiled eggs, or they had smoked fish mixed with potatoes, sour cream, and mayonnaise. And the flavor combination, the sweet combined with like the briny, tart, smoky, creamy, was this flavor that I had never had before and it stuck in my mind and it's really been like a food highlight for me um, in recent years. And so when I got back, I said, I have to replicate this, right? And Anthem said, you have to replicate this. And so I started messing with it and um, so we have this version, which is very close, I think, and is really, really good that we're gonna make today. So the bread is slightly sweet. It's different from the rye breads of Northern Europe, which have sourdough preferments and have a fair amount of acidity to them. This is a sweet bread, closer to something like a Boston brown bread, for those of you um, who know that bread. And so that's what we're gonna make today. So will you go ahead and start combining the dry ingredients? Just gonna take a second. So in the bowl, Arlo has medium rye flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And then in the liquid bowl, he has honey and molasses because in this country, it can be hard to find the golden syrup. We, have to ha we happen to have it in our little grocery store here in Vermont for whatever reason. Um, but to make sure that everybody can make the bread and, and enjoy it, we have honey and molasses used in equal portion and it works very, very well and pretty much approximates the golden syrup. Um, and then, like I said, for flour, we're using medium rye, which is kind of like the all-purpose of rye flours. And then the hydration in the liquid is entirely buttermilk. Use a good buttermilk. If you can find it, find one with some flavor. Now, in Iceland, like I said, this bread will bake for about 12 hours or so overnight in the geothermal sand. We don't have that situation here. And so we're gonna bake for about two hours at about 325, I think that's right. Um, yeah, go ahead and stir it. And I'm baking in a lidded Pullman pan. I forgot my short one and all I have is my long one. And so it's okay, I'll slide it on and it'll be, I'll have a little bit of overlap, but it's okay. Um, I like these pans because I like making sandwiches that are really pretty and nice square sides. If you don't have a lid, don't worry about it. It will work fine. That looks good. Now get underneath there to make sure you have all the dry incorporated. See that? See how you found a big pocket yeah, of dry? Definitely. Yeah, that's good. Turning. Let me show you one trick. Maybe this, maybe people will find this helpful. When I turn, I turn the bowl and the spoon at the same time. See how my arm goes around and almost like mm -hmm. cradles it? This is a technique that you can use for everything from mousses to Pancakes, if you want to fold things in gently. And then I smear it just a little bit. I sort of smear it to look and see if I've got any dry, streaky spots. Smells like pumpkin bread. Smells like pumpkin bread, yeah. Okay. I 
think that looks pretty good. Maybe give it one more turn and make sure that you got everything out of your bowl. Mm -hmm. Give it one more turn and then we'll dump it into the bowl. sweet mm -hmm. but because you've got the molasses and you've got the rye there's this sort of earthy quality that kind of balances out the sweet right and the maltiness so we sliced thin slices and then like I was saying the sweetness is really good if you offset it or balance it with some piquancy and some really earthy savory flavors and so what I have are a few options and I basically top these like pizza like Put, put things on it that you want to eat, right? Mm -hmm. And I want to eat this kind of like seafood stuff with this bread. And so what I have is, um, this is potatoes and smoked kippers with some of that good um, smoked kipper from Maine mixed with sour cream and mayonnaise, um, salt, pepper, dill to garnish, a little bit of caper and onion. And then this one is some smoked salmon that's made down in Boston. And I just put home pickled onions and what else? Capers, dill, and a little bit of crumbled egg yolk. Oh, and on the bottom, there's a little bit of cream cheese. And then uh, this is ricotta. First it's the bread and then a little bit of butter and then some ricotta and then some pickled radishes from home, some of those white radishes, and then some uh, pickled herring on top also uh, with a little bit of egg yolk. So savory, sweet, salty, vinegary, all of those things coming together. You wanna to try? Yes, definitely, I'm excited. You feel like you're in Iceland, Anthem? A little bit. A little bit? Definitely. Mmm. Very nice texture. To me it's like the combination of flavors is really what like is surprising and so interesting. Um, I really like the ones where you have the crunchy things on them too. Like that one has a little bit of crunchy, but it's more about like the creamy experience. Whereas this one with the salmon and the pickled onions, you're gonna have some crunch, but also the smoky quality, really good. So it's Icelandic rye. It's that funny combination of like sweet and savory made with medium rye flour, this new medium rye that we have. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video and reach out if you have any questions. Um, yeah, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for joining us.